Hi, I'm Bill, and if this is the first time dropping into the channel, welcome. So this will be the first in a series of videos that uh, we'll be producing around uh, Starlink. Um, my neighbor just flagged me and said they received a delivery we were supposed to get here, so thank you, Tina. Uh, and um, I now have the Starlink. I must say that they shipped rather quickly from the time that I placed the order, so I was very pleased about that. And on the box it says, SpaceX, Hawthorne, California, 90250, starlink.com. So um, we're very excited about, uh, I'm very excited about receiving this. Um, have 30 days to do a trial and then can return it and get uh, the money back. But my hope is that this really uh, serves a useful purpose and enable me, and uh, when Lori and I also go camping, uh, to go to remote places, remote dark sites, remote campgrounds, and still be able to be connected with the, uh, the outside world uh, via internet, via the satellite. Uh, satellite. So uh, I generally don't do unboxing uh, videos, but I thought, why not? Let's see what's in the box. I'm very, uh, very excited. So let's see how we open this up. I imagine like most things, there's some tape or something. Hmm. Okay. So how do we open this box up? Probably one of the reasons I don't do unboxings. Uh, so we have an opening here. Oh, here we go. So found the tape, take my knife. Okay, seems to be packaged very well. Here's the uh, piece of packaging material. We're gonna save er everything. Okay, here is the stand. I don't know which camera is gonna pick this up. So we're gonna put this on the table for right now. Another piece of packaging. And it's my understanding that the newer generation are the, uh, or Gen 2, I don't know if they call it Gen 2, is the rectangular uh, dish. And so that's what we have here. So for now, I am going to place it. Let me see how I do that. Let me spin this around maybe. Maybe goes the other way. Okay, seats pretty well. Uh, there's some illustrated instructions, uh, so we'll definitely uh, take a look at that. And then there is this box here, which I think is actually the, the Wi-Fi portion. This is the Starlink router, so we're gonna need that. Let me put my knife away. And then as I understand it, you get uh, 75 feet. Again, this is the Starlink RV, so you get 75 feet of cable. And it looks like the end of the cable, it, you know, well, it has a shape to it, a geometry to it. And then, you also get a power cable here. So let's get, put this box down. And the, all 
All right, so this plug goes into the bottom. Kind of a cool design. And then this cable connector here for right now. Interesting, it goes into this port here. So now it comes down to how to power this. And clearly if you have AC power available, uh, you, can, you can do that. I am going to uh, use our new Jackery in anticipation of getting the Starlink. We purchased another Jackery. And again, uh, our Jackery are dual use in the sense that we use it for uh, my astronomical imaging needs as well as when Lori and I are out just camping in our uh, Solus uh, to run um, appliances like Instapots and rice cookers and things like that. But again, uh, the goal of this uh, Starlink is to be able to extend internet connectivity to wherever we may be in the western United States anyway, which is our normal uh, area of travel, uh, so we can uh, check in. Uh, Lori's mom is in assisted living. Uh, we have three YouTube channels besides, uh, you know, so this one and uh, two others. So we like to stay in contact with our um, viewers and be responsive to comments. Uh, we're also hoping to be able to upload videos that we build when we're in the field and then upload them up. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn this on. Now maybe I should read some instructions first. Okay, am I on? I think I'm on. And then let's see what we have to do here. Is there an on off switch? Well, I see a blue light on the bottom. So what I wanted to see is how many watts this is going to draw. I expect between 70 and 80. And in direct sunlight, it's a little bit hard. So right now, it's bouncing around between 60 and 120 watts. Okay, it's, I, didn't, I didn't touch anything. I think this is part of uh, the instruction said when I got it... Uh, when I got it uh, shipped and received, I had to set it up at my home address uh, and it was going to download some software. And then I would be, after that software download happened, then I would be eligible to uh, take it and uh, essentially roam with it within the, the Starlink service area. And um, so I, I guess it's doing something here. And um, I do have the Starlink app on my phone, so I'm going to work to get it connected. But I just kind of wanted to show you what you get with the Starlink RV uh, package. Paid $599, and then it's going to be approximately $135 per month for the service, unlimited data and I can pause the service. I'll be billed in one month increments, but I can pause the service. We can pause the service when we're not using it. Uh, similar to what we can do, well, uh, when it comes to our Verizon hotspot, we, I think, paid $140 for the jet pack, and then uh, for 150 gigs of data, it costs $100. 
The trouble is, if you're not in a Verizon service area, or if uh, we're AT&T uh, users on our uh, Pixel uh, 6s, uh, if you're not in an area where there's service, uh, you can't, you know, you're kind of out of luck. So we're, that's why we're very excited about this right now. And uh, you're going to see more as I start to bring it online. I'll start to share some of the statistics around uh, uh, download and upload. And then I'm planning a trip up to Blue Canyon uh, tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon. And I uh, was going to do some astronomical imaging up there. And so that will give me an opportunity to uh, uh, use it in the field at a location other than our home address. And so uh, I would ex you should expect uh, another couple of uh, videos around the Starlink service. In our mind, it was competitive with the Verizon uh, prepaid services or the AT&T uh, services as well. And we'll see what the performance looks like. And again, we kind of figure when we're out uh, in a remote site, uh, we really need three or four hours a day of internet service. Uh, our plan is not to run it uh, 24 hours a day, uh, but we just need to be able to turn it on, uh, access what we need to access, communicate with who we need to communicate, and then we can shut it down. And again, uh, this Jackery Explorer 1500 uh, with its uh, 1526 watt hours uh, should serve us pretty well. If, it, uh, if this is using 70, 70 to 80 watts, uh, you know, 700 watt hours, uh, you know, in uh, a 10 hour uh, period that we have, that's only about half of what is available uh, on this uh, Jackery 1500. So, okay, well, if you like this kind of content, uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you are a Starlink owner, either for your residence or you are using the Starlink RV option, uh, please share your comments and thoughts uh, and any uh, tips that you might have on how to get the maximum uh, uh, value out of it. Other than that, see you next time.